Have you ever tried to feed a PDF into an AI and just felt the lag? Why is it so slow, so expensive? Well, a brand new technology called DeepSeek OCR might just have the answer. And honestly, it could completely change how we think about digital documents. Let's get into it. Okay, so it all boils down to this one simple but massive problem. When an AI reads something, it's not like you and me. It has to break down every single word, every number into something called a token. And with documents, especially long ones, those tokens pile up fast. We're talking about a huge digital traffic jam that slows everything down and jacks up the cost. And that really gets us to the heart of the matter, this hidden, surprisingly high cost of documents in the world of AI. It's not about paper and ink anymore. It's all about the sheer amount of data that old school methods have to grind through. And you can see the difference right here. It's pretty stark. On one side, you've got your traditional OCR, optical character recognition, which has to painstakingly convert every letter into a text token. We're talking thousands per page. But on the other side, a vision-based approach. It just sees the whole page and compresses all of that information into just a couple hundred vision tokens. The difference is massive. You know, this old way of doing things causes some serious headaches. Your token counts just explode, which means your processing costs go right through the roof. And forget about complex layouts. All those nice tables and forms, they get totally mangled because the AI loses the visual structure. Then, if you try to scale this up to thousands of documents, the latency, that wait time to get a result, becomes a complete nightmare. So what's the big idea? What's the alternative? Well, this is where DeepSeek OCR comes in with a totally new way of thinking. What if, instead of just reading the words, the AI could actually see the text? And that brings us to this core concept, context's optical compression. Now, that's a bit of a mouthful, but the idea behind it is brilliant. The AI basically takes a snapshot of the document page and turns that entire image into a small, dense set of these vision tokens. It's kind of like the difference between reading a book one word at a time versus just glancing at a page and instantly getting the layout, the headings, everything. This quote just nails it. A page of text ends up represented by only a few hundred vision tokens. I mean, just let that sink in for a second. We're going from thousands of data points down to just a few hundred. That's not just a small improvement, that's a whole new ball game. So to put a real number on it, think about a single dense page from a financial report or a research paper. Using the old methods, that could easily hit 2,500 text tokens. But with DeepSeek OCR's approach, that very same page gets crunched down to maybe 256 vision tokens. That is nearly a 10x reduction in the amount of data the AI has to deal with. It's a huge, huge leap forward in efficiency. All right, so how does this magic trick actually work? Let's pop the hood and take a look at the engine that's making all this incredible compression happen. It's really like a two-step dance. First, you have this thing called the deep encoder. It looks at the document image and creates those super compact vision tokens. Then, a really smart decoder, using a cool technique called Mixture of Experts, takes those few tokens and perfectly reconstructs the original text, the layout, the tables, the whole shebang. And the deep encoder itself is pretty clever. It's actually a combo of different AIs working together. It uses one model to zoom way in on the fine details, like the exact shape of each letter. Then, a super powerful 16x compressor shrinks all that data down, and finally, another model zooms out to understand the big picture, the overall layout of the page. So it's seeing both the forest and the trees at the same time. Okay, okay, the theory sounds amazing, but does it actually perform in the real world? Let's put some numbers on the board and see how this new approach stacks up. Now, before we dive into the stats, one really important heads up. This tech is brand new, so the numbers we're about to see are from the creator's own research paper. They look fantastic, but they're still waiting for the rest of the community to really kick the tires and validate them independently. And what a start it is. Check this out. On one test, DeepSeek OCR hits an amazing 97% precision, even when it's compressing the data 10 times over. Now, if you get really aggressive and push that to 20x compression, precision drops to around 60%. So yeah, there's a trade-off, but it shows that even at these crazy levels of compression, the model holds on to a ton of information. And when you put it side by side with other top models, the story gets even better. Just look at the average vision tokens column. DeepSeek OCR is getting top tier accuracy, that's the edit distance column where lower is better, but it's doing it with way, way fewer tokens than the competition. 
It's not just accurate, it's insanely efficient. So with that kind of performance, what does this all mean? What's the actual real-world impact going to be? Let's talk about what the future of document AI might look like. Well, the applications are pretty much everywhere. Think about finance, processing invoices and receipts in a snap, or healthcare, digitizing all those patient intake forms. It can handle bills of leading and logistics, archive documents for legal teams, and even help researchers sort through mountains of academic papers. Basically, if your industry deals with documents, this could be a really big deal. And here's a super practical example of how you might use it. You could just give it an invoice and a simple prompt like, convert this document to markdown, and hey, make sure you preserve the table structure. And then you could follow up with, great, now pull out all the line items as structured JSON data. Just like that, you've turned a messy document into clean, perfect data that any other system can use. The bigger picture here, the strategic impact, is huge. For any business, this kind of drop in cost and latency totally changes the math on whether to build your own document processing solution or buy one. But even more exciting, it just unlocks new possibilities. Suddenly, running this powerful AI on your own servers on-premise is actually realistic, which is a game changer for anyone worried about data privacy. And it finally lets us tackle those ridiculously long, complex documents that were just too much to handle before. But all right, let's keep our feet on the ground. It's new tech, and it's not perfect yet. Really messy cursive handwriting can still trip it up, and super complex tables, you know, the ones with merged cells all over the place, might still need a little bit of cleanup afterward. And like we said, you've always got to test these things on your own documents with your own setup to see how it really performs. And all of this leaves us with one last really fascinating question to chew on. We've just seen how text can be massively compressed by turning it into a visual representation. So, what does that mean for the future of AI memory? Could this be a first step toward building systems that can handle a nearly infinite amount of context? Not by reading the past, but by seeing it? It's a pretty powerful idea, 